All right, by far, these are my two favorite fish. I never thought that I would care for discus the way I care about these fish, but I do really, really, really like them. Um, they are in a 90 gallon tank and they have laid eggs for me once and that actually was last week. Um, I got these, these guys a couple months ago um, fully grown they are huge they're I mean they're huge you, there's no way to show you <laughs> on camera but they're they're huge discus um, maybe eight inches um, the minimum um, bigger than your hand but they are pretty big fish and they're beautiful when I think about a, a fish tank and what it's purpose is overall I feel that when I come look at these guys I feel relaxed calm soothing chilled like this tank just really is at peace and gives me peace now the thing that you're probably noticing that is different about the tank now that you know it's different than <laughs> you've been seeing is that I moved the angels out and I did that because these guys are so darn chill that I don't think that they're aggressive enough to shoo, to shoo fish off and protect their eggs the way I would hope. At least not at this age. They're still pretty young. Um, they're about 18 months old from what the seller told me. Um, so they're still pretty young and probably have a lot to learn. And mind you, I'm still learning a lot about discus. I don't know everything and um, no one ever knows everything, but there's a lot that I need to learn to become a more experienced um, expert on these fish. But what I do know is, um, you know, sometimes it takes them a few tries to have a successful spawn. They did lay, I did see them going through the motions. Um, she laid the eggs, the smaller one, and then behind her her partner um definitely went behind her and did the dance of what i what i would call fertilizing them and it was pretty cool to watch and it lasted about a day but unfortunately i came home from work and they laid on this little slate and the eggs were gone now the day before when they were guarding them i noticed they weren't really guarding them aggressively like they weren't wholeheartedly protecting the eggs from the angelfish that were in here the angelfish were kind of agitating them and coming and pecking at their eggs and they weren't being like a mama bear and getting kind of angry and protective like i've seen other discus get and i'm not saying they won't get like that they won't get like the natural way that i've seen discus get they kind of get really aggressive towards your hand or any other fish or if they can see the discus next to them in tanks if it's a breeding um location for that the that the discus are at um and there's multiple breeding pairs if they see the other ones they tend to be a little different i don't i don't get that sense from this pair yet and it may change but just in case it doesn't change and their personality is just super chill, maybe that's why these guys are, are kind of pricey and hard to find because it's hard to breed them because they do need to be in a tank by themselves. They're super docile, super laid back, and they're not gonna, they're not gonna really go ham for the eggs. They're gonna just say, oh, what the heck? It doesn't matter. We'll lay again in another month or whatever the case may be. Um, they seem to just not really be bothered by anything. Um, and... I just want to make life easier for them. So I did relocate the angels. The angels are now upstairs in the 55 gallon tank by themselves. So, I mean, I can go through all my tanks in another video, but just a little summary. We got a 90 with the discus. We got a 40 with the flower horn and the pair that I'm attempting to breed. We got a 75 with the blue acaras. We got the 40 with the sajikas. I have a 20 with some angels and, um, a parrot not a parasite a polar bear cichlid pair very kind of small um they're actually being quarantined right now and i'll have to move some of those angels upstairs to to the 55 gallon where i have one two three four i think i have six angels up no seven angels up there so and they're pretty small most of them uh, uh, four out of the seven are are larger but still not huge 
Um, so it's still a grow out tank for them. And when they get to a certain size, um, they'll probably get an upgrade, um, upgraded tank. But right now they're okay to grow out in that 55 gallon. So this, these are my discus though. Um, and that was a summary of my tanks. And I just really love these guys. Hopefully, hopefully they'll give us some beautiful fry and, you know, even if they're not so aggressive with defending their fry and their eggs from other fish, I hope that when they do hatch, if they do hatch, that they'll be assertive and kind of aggressive in protecting them. Some things I'm going to have to update in this tank. So this is a 90. Most people say, oh, don't put, put them in the 90. I'm a big proponent of giving a fish a home. I'm, I care more about the fish than I do about the breeding and, and the um, aquarium. I want to give them a home that they enjoy, that they feel comfortable about. I want to make sure that the conditions of the tank are great. Don't get me wrong, this tank could be definitely a little prettier for sure. But the TDS on this tank is low, um, well pretty low. I think last time I checked it was 70, 75 around there. So still not low enough for the discus fry to thrive, but lower. Um, low, low enough for now. Um, we'll continue to drop it. I did do a huge water change yesterday, so it may be more closer to that 50 range. But, I mean, things I'll have to update is I'll have to put a sponge filter on here. Um, and I'll probably do that over the next couple days before they lay again uh, so that I don't disrupt them or startle them when they're over there by their eggs. But what I'll do is just put a couple sponge filters on this side so that when the when the fry becomes sw uh, free swimming and they're huddled around their parents, they aren't going to be at risk for being sucked up there. That's the last thing that I want. So that's that. Um... What else? What else we're thinking? I think that's it for now. I love these guys. If you, anyone knows of any cool discus that maybe I should try to think about adding to my collection, I am going to ACA, the ACA conference. That's going to be awesome. And I do plan to purchase some fish when I'm down there. So if there's some discus breeders that will be there that I should be on the lookout for. I'm open to getting another pair. I want them to be a proven pair. Um, I just love watching these two together. They're they're just super chill. Um, they're attached to each other. The bond is really strong and it's really beautiful. And I just, I, I think if I do get another um, set of discus, I want it to be a proven pair and just go from there. But they're beautiful fish. And if you all have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please let me know. I also know that the algae in here, algae in kind of all my tanks needs to be um, handled. But you know what? The fish are healthy. They're doing great. The TDS is low and the water conditions are superb. So that's the most important thing to me. Um, but I'd love to hear how everyone else kind of controls their algae, whether it be by plecos or another means. Checking out. This is ASK Her. Talk to you later.